Stop calling your brothers and your cousins for every little argument. Because you women sit on social media, you sit around, oh, everybody yes. killing everybody, but you never tell the truth that it's been a thousand shootings and homicides trickle back down to you running your fucking mouth or you calling somebody and exaggerating because you feel disrespected. Stop calling people. You get in an argument with somebody on the block that said, leave it there. You call your brother, now these niggas going through it the whole summer. And then somebody child die about it. That That's your fault. That's... Listen, this chick is saying some true shit. You know what I mean? And this goes along with the video I just literally put up. You know what I mean? But I've I've literally been through this shit. You know what I'm saying? I, I think it was this dude. It was one of these dudes, these street niggas my sisters were dating. And it's always my sisters or one of my girl's cousins on my dad's side of the family. Because this, this type of shit is a thing in Southeast Georgia. Like, this type of shit where a motherfucker pops some shit off. It is a thing in Southeast Georgia. I've seen a lot of niggas get killed behind shit like this. Like, I remember this one dude, if I remember correctly, I could be misquoting the story, but from my memory, I remember it. Like, there's this one dope boy my sister was dating, and somehow they got into some type of altercation about something. You know what I'm saying? And I know my sister, I know my sister, she ain't like that now, but she used to really be a street bitch back in the day. You know what I'm saying? And... She smacked these niggas, whatever, or whatever the case may be, because hood chicks just don't think about shit when they doing it. They just do it. Man, somehow, me, my cousin, and two of my other cousins end up getting into it with this motherfucker. And we was at it with this nigga the whole entire summer. Granted, I ain't seen the motherfucker in years. But, you know, based off some shit you started, you know what I'm saying? We got to sit there and draw down on this nigga with guns, try to beat this motherfucker ass all summer, like... There's been plenty of instances in Georgia where I've been in some shit like this over some shit that one of my family members started. Like, and I know the girl cousins in my family, they will smack the fuck out of a nigga or pop some shit off or feel disrespected. Oh, come get this pussy nigga. He popping this shit. And then now we got to sit here and go through this shit the whole entire summer over this shit because you want to start some shit with a nigga. Like, you feel like you don't walk down because a nigga wasn't sitting there taking your shit. Like... And I get it that, you know, you should protect women. And I really do believe that women do preserve, um, preserve, deserve protection. But I'm saying a, a lot of you motherfuckers abuse it. Like, I'm not the kind of person to just jump to some shit just because a motherfucker tell me some shit. Like, I need to know the details of this story before I just jump in this motherfucker. Like, my cousin the type of nigga, he don't give a damn. He just here and he ready to get all his guns and shoot a motherfucker because niggas in Georgia are just trigger happy like that. Like... They don't care about none of, that, none of the details. They don't care about the fact that you started it. It's just, it's hot outside. It's motherfucking July. And niggas just want to shoot some shit. And that's the only thing they fucking care about. Like, I don't know how this thing is up north. You know what I'm saying? But in the south, I'm telling you, niggas, niggas don't, niggas leap first and think second. It's like, I don't know what it is about the heat. But it's, I mean, I, well, when I think about it, I'm a lot more irate when I'm hot. So I don't. I, I tend to get mad faster. You know what I'm saying? And then most niggas from down south, in my personal opinion, they get off on arguing with chicks. Me personally, I'm not finna argue with you. I'm not, I don't, I don't argue in no capacity. Like, I'll talk to you to a certain extent, but once I feel my temperature rising, I gotta leave the premises. You know what I'm saying? Because it's gonna, it's, I'm gonna get to a point where I'm gonna wanna get violent behind some shit. And a lot of niggas are not trained to think this way. It's just, oh, I'm mad at you, bitch, fuck you, and I'm gonna go outside your head. You know what I'm saying? And now we gotta sit there and chase this nigga down and hunt this motherfucker down. Like, there's been plenty of times, you know what I'm saying? Well, especially my, like I said, especially my cousin, man. My, my cousin, my, my first cousin, that he, he, he wasn't a trigger-happy war veteran-ass niggas. Like, he got guns for shit that ain't no guns for. Like, then I got another cousin in prison. Like, he ready to drop a hit on somebody. Like, it be fuck shit, bro. And it's just... All because a lot of this shit with these chicks, they just want to pop shit off or they don't want to, you know, take shit or walk away from shit. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not expecting a woman to take me and hit. You know what I'm saying? But what I'm saying is, like, really think about the, the, the consequences of the shit that you're doing when you decide to start some shit with a nigga and then call me, call my cousins. You know what I'm saying? Now we got to go find this motherfucker. We got to find out where this nigga live at, shoot his shit up. And it's, I don't, I don't miss... Shit like this is why I'm moving up north. You know what I'm saying? Because I know in the south, this is a thing. Like, I personally never ran into it up north. I'm not saying it don't happen. But based off my experiences down south, you know what I'm saying? If I, I you know, a lot of my 
cousins and my sisters they're mature now so i don't really go through it like i used to but back when we was younger this thing this, this beefing all summer with niggas was a thing like it would happen every summer one of them motherfuckers would start some shit and because you in the country and niggas is bored shit we just at it all summer like motherfuckers ain't got nothing else to do but go to work come home and beef with niggas <laughs> like i remember all that stupid shit man like I don't miss it. I don't miss it. And it's just when you when when these girls pop this shit off on the internet, oh pussy nigga this, pussy nigga that, you a fuck nigga, I'ma get my cousin to iron you out, I'ma get my brother to iron you out, and then these niggas get killed behind this shit, and you as a woman, you walk away scot-free from this shit, cause you not in the gun violence like that. You just the one that's being protected. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of you chicks walk away scot-free and it's not cool, like motherfuckers going to jail behind this shit going to prison behind this shit all behind trying to take, protect your ignorant ass because you want to be on bullshit over an argument that you really could have walked away from like but like I said most men don't have the capacity to sit there and realize when a woman's talking some nonsense and be like you know what I'm not gonna fuck with this motherfucker let me get the fuck away from it I've never had an abuse case you know what I'm saying cause anytime I've ever gotten to a point where the shit was about to argue I walk away from the shit Like I'm not finna beef with no woman Like you crazy as fuck Like that is a no win situation But I mean again These motherfuckers in the south They don't really give a fuck Like you you say some slick shit They do niggas on top of your head And then it's like They gotta call everybody I've seen plenty of niggas from Southeast Georgia get shot up like this Like it's a thing It really is a thing And I would just like it if it stopped that's just my personal take on it. But yeah, Shorty's right, man. Y'all y'all gotta stop calling motherfuckers every time y'all get into some shit. It's it's not fucking cool, man. It's, it's not fucking cool to be related to a girl that does this type of shit. I'm just saying.